Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope your finances have been doing good. Oopsie. This reading for today, it is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much Sagittarius for coming back. Thank you so much Sagittarius for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Sagittarius, click the bell, click subscribe. We have a jumper card and it's the devil card. Okay. You could be a um a scorp Sagittarius a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp because this is also in Scorpio's reading. Now, this is for your sign, Sagittarius. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign, please? What's the guided message for you guys? What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? Um, okay, let's start with the devil, okay? Um, I feel like Sagittarius, there's something that you're struggling to relax your mind. The devil card. Um, I feel like Sagittarius, your mind is raising with a mix of, you've got these big ideas, okay? I'm kind of picking up like your mind is racing with thoughts of you've got these big ideas, you've got this grand scheme and you cannot relax because at the same time you have a lot of things that you want to do connected to work like you're busy, creative and on top of that I feel like Sagittarius, your, the people around you, it's not, it's desynchronized, you know. This is a vibe where you've got an exciting idea that, but you've got an exciting idea, but you yourself, you know, like you yourself, you're super duper charged, excited, creative, productive. Like your mind is raising with a lot of, I want to do this. I want to explore this. I want, you know, like you're into your, I want mode. However, you would notice that the people around you are not quite supportive you know like the people that like everyone wants a piece of you in the last two to three days or maybe maybe right now there's a part of you that i have a big idea i want to do this i want to try this i want to complete this i'm so excited to do my task my work my ambition my idea but the people around me they want a piece of me you know like they want a piece of you like you are torn between can i go solo but somehow the external people around you wants you like it's a struggle to get into the flow of what you want because there is quite of a problem around you you know like people calling texting it's not even your problem but somehow you've got this divine you've got this divine um like somehow you've got somehow you've got this divine obligation to help them maybe their teammate your family your friends but there is quite a few noises around people connection and it's external okay so there's a mix of i'm excited but i've got to help this person first or I've got to sort this out first. So just, you know, find the balance. Not only that, but this devil card as well, Sagittarius, I'm picking up that you're, you're, you're pulled in a million direction. You're, you're pulled into different direction. You've got this creative, excited idea, you know, but you could be building up the resources. It's possible that I've got this great idea, but I don't have the enough resources to do it, but I could build it. So there's something that is moving and shaking at the same time. There's something exciting and it's like different emotions. I'm excited and there's another problem in here. So you're excited at the same time doing some parallel, super duper happy, super duper not so happy about this. So it's kind of extreme. It's like the devil card. Not only that, Sagittarius, but it's also possible that your left and right you know brain is wanting to be practical 
and the other one practical logical the other one is emotional you know look into where mercury is i think mercury is look look where your mercury is but it's affecting you to go into the flow okay you know when i go through this mind racing thoughts you know when i have so much excitement and information this is like so much excitement and so much to do or information i write it down okay also this devil card it's possible as well sagittarius that you have a lot of creative idea but you also have a lot of pessimistic thoughts it's possible that you've got this grand beautiful idea but there's a part of you that you have some pessimistic pessimistic thoughts about your grand idea like you have an inner critic and also you've got an optimistic by default you're optimistic and in the past your optimism is you and if you have some critics it's the external but somehow it could be there is an optimistic Sagittarius optimism and then it's equivalent to the thoughts of pessimism it's possible the amount of optimism that you have and the amount of pessimistic vibe that you have it could be clashing it could be equal the left and the right brain equally look when you are going through this you know because it could be dark you know because if you feed the darkness or the pessimist the pessimistic then you won't win the optimistic vibe wouldn't so depending on who you you feed the light or the dark this is this energy the light or the dark when i'm going through this because i have a sagittarius moon and i have a scorpio sun imagine i am a half sagittarius i'm half breed i have a scorpio there are some times that i could feel that i am a sagittarius there are some times that i could definitely feel that i'm scorpio i write the thoughts i write all of the good thoughts before the bad thoughts so if there is a part of you that is overwhelmed write the good optimistic vibe if you're very busy excited with something you want to do but someone is bothering or something is bothering you focus on the creative before the things that's busy okay focus on the creative sagittarius is always sagittarius is also is always about creative focus into the creative versus the practical if you want to buy this if you want to try this go do it because you're gonna earn the money anyway for some of you guys i don't know but i heard that there's something that you want to buy and you're worried you're gonna earn the money you're gonna earn it back for some of you okay so depending on who you feed the dark or the light and if you're struggling to decide or overwhelmed between excitement and information write it down okay write down your thoughts all right okay now let's oh wow you have an ace of cups what else is coming towards you sagittarius you have an ace of cups you have a chariot card what can i get for the sagittarius sign you have a nine of wands you have a two of swords you have the hermit card you have the ace of wands you have the judgment card wow okay what can i get for the sagittarius sign three of wands what's coming towards you okay you have the five of pentacles in here and so we start your reading sagittarius um so you're starting the reading <clears throat> with the seven sorry the ace of cups because this is number seven you have the nine in here um so you have an ace of cups coming it could be an idea it could be a lover it could be a project in here let me just sip my coffee guys mm. this is what's coming towards you the ace of cups you have an ace of cups next to the ace of cups is the chariot card the nine of wands something is going to come in yeah the tower card is in here look it's either you have an idea okay like the universe is telling you like this reading is it's kind of i have like it's this this the message the first message that i need to prepare you i need to prepare you because there's an ace of cups coming okay 
um, I need to prepare you because there is an Ace of Cups coming. It could be an idea. It could be a project. It could be a job. It could be a person. This Ace of Cups is coming into a Tower card. It could be a Scorpio, but it's, it's quite extraordinary. There's something unknown, unseen, but extraordinary about the Ace of Cups. Now, how you're going to react with the Ace of Cups is the Chariot card. Because it is unfamiliar, unknown, unseen, and it's kind of unknown to you. Like you've got a preloaded, preloaded judgment, excuse me. You've got a preloaded judgment with the Ace of Cups, okay? And it's kind of unknown to you. It is as if you don't want it. It's not your type, probably for some of you guys. Not, not your type, not your thing. There's something in here that you're not looking forward. That the chariot card, the nine of wands, it looks like you're dismissing it. You're not giving it an attention. Okay. There's something extraordinary, but you're not giving it an attention. Um, I think the reason why you're not giving it an attention because nine of wands, you probably have experienced something like this and it might have disappointed you. So the way you're giving attention, the way you're giving your interest, you have a preloaded judgment that it is difficult. Okay. Ooh, yeah. You have some magician card, your judgment of the situation, it's it's um because magician could be made up okay like because you know sometimes if it's too good it's like this is you know like this is um what do you call illusion you know magician can be an illusion mm. Mm. so um it's something unknown it's something unseen it's something rare it's something maybe not your type um you've got a preloaded energy energetic reaction of maybe maybe not not interested and nine of wands you could also be you could also be you could be connecting with the ace of cups and because you're running away look at that the chariot card the nine of wands there's something in this ace of cups that it's either you're intimidated unknown to you it could also be a person from the past that's bringing you a new vibe um your initial reaction is the chariot card the nine of wands not interested not keen or defensive now, the Ace of Cups, they wouldn't give up, okay? Whoever this person, company, situation, it's not giving up. It's not giving up on you. Yeah, Five of Wands. So, um, this Ace of Cups, it it's, there is, you know, this Ace of Cups, there is a lot of person that wants them. <laughs> Sagittarius. You know, this Ace of Cups, there's a lot of people who wants this position, who wants the situation, who wants this person, okay? Yet, and yet, they're not giving themselves or this offer or their energy to anybody. It's, it's with you, okay? I think, I don't know, I get the feeling, Sagittarius, of someone, like it could be your instinct, it could be you, it could be your, it could be you, it could be your instinct, or maybe there's another person in here that will tell you, hey Sagittarius, the very thing that you don't want, the very thing that you are not paying attention, do you know that that's rare? Do you know a lot of people will fight for that, you know? So there's something in here, I don't know, maybe you're reacting very slow, because this is your reaction over, you know, the situation, because two of swords, you're like, maybe, I'm not sure, and then the universe keeps nudging you that, hey, you know what? It's not every day you get this Ace of Cups. It's not every day you get this attention. And also there's another sharp, there's a very witty person that would tell you, because it's like the Ace of Wands, the Hermit card, because this is you. Hermit card, the Two of Swords. I wouldn't blame you if it's taking you time to respond with the Ace of Cups. You know, I wouldn't blame you. Sometimes we get analysis paralysis for something that, you know, maybe we were, we didn't, we were, we were not. It's something that you don't welcome it. There's something in the Ace of Cups that you don't, well, you're not welcome about the idea. It feels 
unseen, unknown, unfamiliar, or it feels like you're scared, you're running away. Because it could also be a past person or a past situation. Like you're scared to take it or you're scared you're running away. But you're being divinely guided by somebody, by someone from your ancestor. Because the Hermit card, the Two of Swords, this is you. You have a lot of analysis, paralysis energy in here. But Ace of Wands, the universe will send an Ace of Wands energy towards you, Sagittarius, to make you decide. So it might take you a bit of time, but someone is going to be dispatched. An Ace of Wands, it could be a song, it could be a person, it could be, I don't know, some inspiration that you would read, or it could be your instinct, and it's telling you, hey, wake up, Sagittarius, you have an Ace of Cups, you know, respond to it, explore, go, you know, dive deeper, because you'll be amazed of how, how good it is, how good it is to be loved by you. Look at that, Three of Cups. I feel like, you know, Three of Cups, one of your friend, there's something in your date, there's something, there's something of an activity, there's something magical, there's something divinely, there's something divinely guided that will happen, that you wouldn't miss this opportunity. Maybe you will have an analysis paralysis, but a friend of yours, somebody will tell you exactly, look, take it look look into it try it don't just reject it don't keep it waiting <laughs> don't keep it waiting you know look at that like your ancestor your spiritual squad your guy is telling you look we made this for you we made a pack from another person for another situation to have this ace of cups for you but you will react you will okay you will react about this person the situation you will pay attention to it it might take some time but you will react and i feel like it's very satisfactory with the hermit card the two of swords that yeah i'm overthinking and so what you know i'm overthinking and so what but as you analyze and overthink you know in your heart that it's safe you know it you know in your heart it's safe you know in your heart that there's nothing to fear and then it would be follow up by a song by an information by a person it's like basically when you overthink like when you overthink about your reaction your respond to the invitation of the ace of cups um there would be a unanimous there would be there would be a unanimous decision in you and it feels like okay it feels cool it feels safe it feels loving it could be trustworthy that's the unanimous decision of your soul and then another ace of wands would be sent to you like okay all right i'm gonna look into it and after you say all right i'm gonna accept it a few moments later another friend another divine nudges will second emotion what you've just decided and it's gonna be a blast it's going to be like a judgment. Okay. You know, it's a reading where you want it. You know, there's a part of you that you want it, but you don't want to accept it half-hearted. Like you want it, like somehow there's a lurking energy. You know what? I want it. But let me feel it, soak in it and ha go through some overthinking. Yep. Yep. Overthinking. And then accept it and the ace of wands and be excited with it it's like you want to accept it if you feel excited it took you a while to feel the excitement but eventually you will get there so the way you're going to start with this person or situation slow but once you ex once you accept it you're full-on excited you know it's like i'm not going to accept you if i'm not excited and you you went deep diving and you feel excited first you feel good you feel safe and as soon as you feel good and you feel safe then you feel excited the three of wands and five of pentacles in here all of the worries and concern it's gone away and you have the ace of cups okay um i think you're just really looking after yourself your life your energy in here and there you go see eight of wands go and take the ace of cups go take the lover go take the invitation go take the role go take it sagittarius go full card take a risk put the money put your energy go you know manifest invest take it someone something is gonna come you go into an overthinking that overthinking it's okay you need to feel safe you need to feel grounded you need to feel the trustworthy energy as soon as you reach that trustworthy energy 
the feeling safe, you know, the feeling that, okay, I'm going to do it. There's a follow-up Ace of Wands that's going to spark you up like a, you know, something excite that something will further excite you, something that will support your decision and boom, the rest is history. An Ace of Cups, a fiery Ace of Cups is born. It could be love, it could be money, it could be a career, but it's something that you would take time. And I like that you take time because at the end of the day, if it's wrong, you know, it's your energy wasted. So take the overthinking. Sometimes we need that. Or sometimes I wouldn't say, I wouldn't even say it's overthinking. It's just, you know, being cautious, being cautious. You know, you're being practical and cautious at your diet. You've learned the lesson, you know, spark is good. But this one, you're being logical and practical. Now, this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for grazing my day. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.